Hey, it is Andy with Fence Post, and today I'm going to share an unboxing of the new Spoon album, Lucifer on the Sofa. Spoon has been around for essentially three decades now. They formed in 1993, and Lucifer on the Sofa is their 10th studio album. On par with a lot of indie artists and even more mainstream artists these days, Spoon's Lucifer on the Sofa comes with a variety of pressings in the first year, including Matador exclusive on color vinyl and a variety of indie retailer exclusives and even non-indie retailer exclusives. In fact, this right here is the Amazon exclusive. So we're gonna take a look inside that today and see what we think. Now, a lot of these exclusives really only have one difference among them, and that is the color of the vinyl. I think it's a fad. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be around, but it is what it is. First off, the sleeve. As always, I like to leave the outer plastic on because it tends to have the hype stickers. So usually you'll see me housing those as is. Now I like these slightly thicker inner sleeves. I know some people don't like them. Let me rephrase that. I like them to an extent. I like that it's matte. It's not glossy uh, on this one at least. And I think it just looks cool. Got all the lyrics on the back. Now for the exciting part, the part that is exclusive to the Amazon retail version, the vinyl itself. And let me just say, this makes me think of a creamsicle. I mean, right? Kind of like the four quad, orange, white, orange cream, actually, I think they call it, even though it looks more white to me. Overall, I think this is cohesively as a whole, one of Spoon's strongest albums yet. I think it has some amazing songs. I've listened to it a number of times already and I can't find anything I don't like. And I think that's where this album kind of stands out. Other albums, there were, there were hits and misses. Songs I liked, songs that I could go either way with. This one, however, I think tops all of those because it just cohesively seems to fit and flow and meld together in a very cool and very unique way. Whether you get the Amazon version or the Matador version or just the standard old black vinyl version, I think it's worth adding to your collection. In the description, you can find a link to where you can get this specific version of Spoon's Lucifer on the Sofa. You can also find a link to my album review and my music blog and vinyl blog, fence post, and a lot more. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.